It's the champ, Shannon the Cannon, two-time heavyweight champion in the world. And you're watching Sports Icons. Subscribe. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Champ. Shelly Finkel has confirmed that John Tay Wilder has released Mark Breland from his training team. Now, Shelly Finkel is John Tay Wilder's co-manager, along with JD's. JD's is also his trainer as well as. Mark Breland is the one who threw in the towel against Tyson Fury, for those of you who don't know. Now, Mark Breland was an excellent standout amateur, that's for sure, and he was a very, very good professional boxer as well. And as much as Mark Breland used to be one to knock out, especially in the amateurs, he used to knock out his opponents in the amateurs and that, he was a very technically gifted fighter. And he was the kind of guy that was suited to Jonte Wilder. Even though Wilder, he never really listened to Breland. Wilder, he never adopted what Mark Breland would have done in the fight. So it's arguable whether or not it was the right decision to be made that Mark Breland should leave the team. Because as much as Mark Breland would have shown Wilder what to do and Wilder would have probably um, replicated that in sparring and would have done it in the training, this, that and the other, on fight night, he never seemed to do it. Wilder was always happy to give away rounds because he always believed he would just pull out the big punch and knock his opponent out. So from that point of view, maybe Mark Breland not being there is probably the right thing to do. But if that was the case, then he should have been released a long, long time ago. Not 12 years deep, just because he's taken a loss. Now, I think most people who know anything about Jonte Wilder and the whole setup, and of course, with how the fight ended with the towel being thrown in, most people will agree that Mark Breland seemed to be the only person within that team that actually gave a damn about Wilder, that actually wanted to save him for another day, save him from being spectacularly knocked out, because that was about to come. If not, then the referee would have stepped in. Now, of course, the towel coming in, that's now on his resume. Essentially, Wilder quit, okay? When your team throws in the towel, that essentially means that you quit. But it's better than a highlight reel knockout on the floor twitching, isn't it? Let's be honest about it. Mark Breeden quite clearly cares about John Tay Wilder, and that's the one guy that Wilder probably should have kept, but now hasn't. Because when you look at, say, JD's, and, of course, Shelley Finkel, Shelley Finkel, JD's, they're both co-managers of John Tay Wilder, so they're both taking a slice of his uh, purse, which is ridiculous. But JD is also the trainer. Now, JD's and Shelly Finkel, after the fight, the first thing that Shelly Finkel done right after that fight wasn't to go see, hey, Wilder, how you doing? He walked past Wilder and started having a go at Mark Breland. For me, that's the one guy that should possibly have been ditched from the team, Shelly Finkel. Again, Shelly Finkel, is he one of the reasons why John Tay Wilder has now lost out on $100 million for Undisputed against Anthony Joshua? Washed it all down the pan because Shelly Finkel has time and time again said that if he personally does not have a good relationship with Eddie Hearn, then that fight will not happen. Shelly Finkel is also the one who called John Tay Wilder a baby and not ready for unifications when he first won the title on 33 fights. That guy... In my opinion, that's the guy that should go. Arguably, as well with JD's, because JD's, rather than keep things internal after the fight, of course, Wilder, he couldn't come out and have the post-fight press conference, so JD's and Shelly Finkel did that on behalf of Wilder. JD's was the one who publicly said Mark Breeden should not have thrown in the towel because Deontay Wilder has specifically said, don't throw in the towel if I ever get in trouble. He's the kind of guy that wants to go out on his shield. So JD's was quite willing to let Deontay Wilder potentially be put in hospital. Well, Wilder was put in hospital for um, a brief moment, but it could have been so much worse. So quite clearly, Shelley Finkel and JDs, just by going what it is that we know, of course, we don't know what's behind the scenes, of course not, but just by going what we've seen and what we hear with our own ears, these are the two guys that probably should have been released, not Mark Breland. And I think most even hardcore Deontay Wilder fans would agree with that statement. Now, there's no news as to, is he bringing in somebody else? Of course, there's been rumours about a George Foreman or a Larry Holmes or Floyd Mayweather, among others. But according to Shelley Finkel, he says that JDs will continue to train Deontay Wilder and get him ready for the Tyson Fury third fight. 
So if nobody's coming in and you've just got rid of Mark Breland, that looks like it's going to be a catastrophe waiting to happen for Deontay Wild on the night. Don't get me wrong, even if Wilder has nobody in the corner, he's always going to have that puncher's chance because he's very, very heavy-handed. But the thing is, though, is that Mark Breland, time and time again, we've seen him in the corner of Deontay Wilder in between rounds having a go at Wilder, saying, you're not doing what it is that I've asked you to do. Why aren't you doing this? Blah, 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 blah. And Wilder quite clearly does not listen and does not respect Mark Breland. The only guy really on the team who truly knows boxing. Mark Breland, amateur, pro, trainer. He's been around it. What's Jay Deasy's track record? Not many people know, do they? So is it a big mistake? I think it depends on, first of all, how the third fight goes. And Shelley Finkel said that as well, that it will be determined as to how the third fight goes as to whether or not it was the right decision. Now, ultimately, Wilder's going to do better in the third fight, isn't he? Because he can't do too much worse. And that's the truth of it. So for me, I think that's the one guy that should not have been released, which is Mark Breland. Unless, of course, Mark Breland spoke to Wilder and said, listen, things aren't working out between me and you. I'm going to leave. But if you want to put it out that you got rid of me, I get it. Maybe that's what's happened. But ultimately, I think that Mark Breland not being part of Deontay Wilder's team is a huge, huge mistake. And what makes it worse as well is that Wilder, he was the one who was mocking and laughing at Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury left Ben Davison and went with um, Sugar Hill saying, I've had my same team ever since I've turned pro and I'll never change him because I don't need to. Click quite clearly you do because you're not confident. Well, here he is. He just got rid of the, arguably the most important member of his team. So again, he's now um, a bit of um, hypocrisy there, isn't there? Now, Tyson Fury, he said like a little while ago as well, that if Deontay Wilder does that stupid mistake of getting rid of Mark Breland, then he will bring in Mark Breland into his team. So we'll have to wait and see if that happens. I don't know whether or not that would be the best idea in the world, because would Mark Breland, as much as, even if he was fired and he's not happy about it, he knows Wilder on a personal um, level, I don't know whether or not Mark Brilliant would want to be part of Tyson Fury's team in order to help Tyson Fury defeat Deontay Wilder. His guy, previously for the last 12 years, would he want to do that? At the end of the day, business is business, I suppose. But would he do it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure we'll hear a lot more about it as time goes on. But it's no great surprise. The one person that he should not be getting rid of is the one person who cared about him enough to save him for another day. Had Mark Brilliant not thrown in the towel, what would have happened? Either a spectacular knockout, or the referee was about to step in anyway, or Jonte Wilder may not have been in any kind of fit state to take this third fight. You don't know, do you? For me, I think Mark Brilliant did the right thing, and I, most, and I think most people, including the Deontay Wilder fanatics, will agree that is a big, big mistake. Will they come out and actually publicly say that? No, of course not, because they're afraid to death of hurting the feelings of Deontay Wilder. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video.